Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about conjugation property. So, if x of n, the z transform of x of n is x of z, then ROC is equals to R, then conjugation, the z transform of conjugate of n is x conjugate of z conjugate. So, this is a bit confusing to read, guys. So, if you are just observing it, you observe it cleanly, guys, you can understand. While I am reading, it's not so clear because I cannot pronounce it properly. Okay, so ROC is R. So, proof. We know that Z transform of X1 of N is nothing but sigma N equal to minus infinity X1 of N into Z to the power of minus N. Let X1 of N is equals to X conjugate of N. Z, Z transform of X conjugate of N is equal to sigma N equal to minus infinity X conjugate of N into Z to the power of minus 1. So, this conjugate, I'll be just taking it outside, guys. So, it I'll be pushing that completely outside. So, sigma n equals to minus infinity x of n z to the power of z conjugate, conjugate whole to the power of minus n into star, into conjugate. So, this whole part is in terms of z conjugate. So, it becomes z of, z con, sorry, x of z conjugate whole to the power of conjugate. So, I'll be pushing that inside. So, x conjugate, z conjugate. So, I think... The theorem is proved right here, guys. So, in the next video, we'll be covering the main concepts and formulas. Okay, guys, thank you. Thanks for watching.